guys, welcome back to Glamour Gadgets and Gaming by Leah and I'm back with another much anticipated fresh off the crops flagship smartwatch. Yes guys, launched today the Mobboy Tickwatch Pro 3 Ultra smartwatch and I've been playing with this one for around two weeks now and spoiler alert, Mobboy usually never fails to impress. So I have the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS Bluetooth version and it also comes in 4G cellular version which only supports an eSIM. I've been wearing it for just over two weeks and I must say, although it's quite similar to the TicWatch Pro 3, I'm impressed with it, especially thanks to the incremental upgrades, atrial fibrillation and fatigue and mental health tracking features and also the color changing backlight. And in this video, I'll share a quick what's in the box. We'll also look at the design and build, software and hardware, the Mobvoi and Wear OS app, health and fitness features, the battery and charger, the OS, compatibility, watch faces, Leah's pros and niggles, and we'll summarize with whether or not this watch is worth your precious money. So I've been playing with it for over a week now and I have already taken it out the box, put it on my wrist, etc. But I'm just showing you exactly what I received in the box. So in the box we have some product safety information, a USB magnetic charging dock and the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra with GPS. Check it out guys, it looks quite similar to the TicWatch Pro 3. And guys, never mind the time, date and the straps, can you tell the difference between the two? Which one is which? Here in my hand I have the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS and the TicWatch 3 Pro. They are identical. <sighs> Look at that back sensors the, the charging pin the buttons on the side the positioning of the speaker and mic and the time markings all are identical guys it's the same design so here's the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra the latest Mobvoi offering here's the previous one the TicWatch Pro 3 seriously Mobvoi we need a fresher design and look. Now guys, check out the specs and features on the screen in front of you. I have the shadow black here and guys, I have left the link for it and the LTE model in the description box below should you want to check it out in more detail or even grab one for yourself. Built from military standard 810G, the, the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra has a stainless steel watch bezel, nylon watch case and metal buttons. Measuring at 47mm and weighing at 69.5 grams, the watch is not the slimmest smartwatches and although it feels comfortable and sits nicely on my wrist which measures at around 6.5 inches circumference, I did find myself a little uncomfortable especially whilst wearing it in bed or after wearing it for more than a day or so. Maybe it's not for the smaller wrists or maybe the back plastic gets a little irritating after a long wear. Also guys, personally, I'm getting a little bored of the same old design, which is kind of following the trend of the past Tick Watch 3s. The 22mm floral straps are strong and durable and can be removed. Here on the right we have two buttons. The top allows access to all the apps with one press and with a long press brings up the Google Voice Assistant. The bottom button with one press brings up the workout mode and with the long press we can access the speaker draining, essential mode, customised function buttons and we can also power off or restart the watch from here. We have a mic on the right and a speaker on the left and on the rear we have the sensors and the charging pins. What's the weather like tomorrow in Cheshire? Tomorrow in Cheshire, United Kingdom, it'll be cloudy, with a high of 17 and a low of 8. 
It has a 1.4 inch Retina AMOLED plus FSTN 454 by 454 resolution always on dual display which is sandwiched together Gorilla Glass protection and customized colorful backlight We've got nice tie markings going all the way around it's nice and bright and it's clearly visible from all angles both in low light and bright light too the watch comes with this usb magnetic charging dock and it takes around one hour and 25 minutes to fully charge from a zero percent battery the humongous 577 milliamp battery is incredible during the couple of days I've been wearing and testing this watch and with all the smart features on including health and fitness sensors, Bluetooth, daily walks, little exercise, a bit of browsing, downloading apps etc. I've found that the battery has lasted me around three days but it is not every day that I'll be downloading apps and watch faces etc and therefore I can expect it to last longer with casual usage. As per Mobvoi, you can expect the battery to last for around 45 days in essential mode. Moving on to the health and fitness tracking, Mobvoi now supports more advanced health tracking features than before, and especially the heart rate monitor. As mentioned earlier, we have atrial fibrillation detection and fatigue assessment, which measures your mental fatigue and energy levels. We also have high density heart rate monitor, stress monitor, SpO2 and sleep tracking and guys the multiple satellite GPS, sleep tracking, SpO2, stress monitor and heart rate monitor reads are spot on and as accurate as my most trusted smartwatch at the moment the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. The data can be accessed from the watch and in more detail from the comprehensive and detailed Mobvoi app. The watch is compatible with both Android and iOS smartphones and guys I've experienced minimal compatibility issues. So I've downloaded the Mobvoi app and the Wear OS app here on my OnePlus 9 Android smartphone. And here you can see the 24 hour physical and mental status monitoring which was last measured 49 minutes ago. So my mental fatigue, I'm refreshed, fully aware and concentrated, which is great. Energy levels are normal at three. So let's just look at this in more detail. So my score is one, which is refreshed, fully aware and concentrated. As for energy levels, I'm at three, which is moderate or normal. That's good to know. We also have activity records here. So I've been active for two hours today done 20 min 28 minutes exercise and taken 650 steps yes I was on my indoor bike earlier on exercise 27 minutes burnt 164 calories mm. <laughs> well I did cheat a little kind of because I came off the bike like within like 10 minutes or so but I forgot to hit stop so it's recorded 27 minutes that should really be reading about 10 minutes that's my fault guys uh, here so it's showing how much I slept so I slept for around 5 hours and 26 minutes last night and in more detail so we recorded uh, how long I was awake for REM sleep light sleep and deep sleep and you can see that in more detail here it's also saying that I went to bed a little later than usual last night um, that's true I did sleep a little later than I think I went to bed around one something so I was awake for 19 minutes REM sleep 56 light sleep 2 hours 32 minutes and deep sleep 1 hour 40 minutes now that is bad uh, it's got my average heart rate last night was 79 BPM average sleep 97% normal cool I really like the Mobvoi app. It's very detailed, very user friendly, straightforward. So my heart rate today, guys, my BPM is at 95. Last updated at 11 and it's quarter past 11 now. No abnormalities are found, which is great. Highest has been 143, whoa, that's quite high. I'm um, not sure why it went that high. Lowest has been 54 BPM probably when I was sleeping. Um, and yeah stress levels uh sorry spo2 97 percent normal the lowest has been 95 height has been 98 which is okay stress levels is at 17 
relaxed, which is good. And noise, so the environmental noise, 42 dB, which is moderate. And it's then typically harmful to my hearing, which is good. So here you can see devices connected. So I've got my TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra smartwatch connected. And you can access audio recordings, settings, watch screenshot, uh, help, etc. Explore, so you can go to community, activities, etc. here. Here you've got the fitness and health report, so you get weekly and monthly reports there. Tick care, zero followers, unfortunately. Um, if you want to follow me, you can. Voice memos, I've got recordings of uh, voice memos here. And third party authorization, so I'll just show you that this watch is compatible with Google Fit, Strava, and Run Keeper. So here you can access the store settings and here you can see this is my account settings here feedback and about the mobway app is one of my favorite apps um when it comes to smartwatches it's very detailed straightforward user friendly and simple it's not there's not much jargon and uh, confusion it's just so straightforward okay so moving on to the wear os app so you can see i've got 38 percent batteries on both apps you can see the battery here, drop down. So I'm connected to the TicWatch Pro 3U G with uh, GPS. You can see that. I've also had the TicWatch U3 connected previously. Here you can disconnect from the watch, take a screenshot of the watch, help and feedback and about. And the watch faces, guys. Oh, it's taking me back to the Mobvoi app. So if I click on that, it'll take me back to the Mobvoi app. Here you've got the watch faces. You can access all the watch faces. Um, and you've got tons to choose from. And you can always go to the Google Play Store as well to download more. So we've got settings here under which you can access tiles. So this is where I can add and remove tiles um, on my smartwatch. Notifications. So you, you can see that I've got all these notifications enabled. I've got Barclays, Download Manager, Facebook, Fitbit, Gmail, Instagram, da da da, etc. I can add and remove. I can just turn on and off the I can turn these on and off from here agenda settings events holidays in the UK etc I've got the Google assistant what it can cannot do so you've got the settings for it um, and you can play around with that here and guys we have advanced settings under which you can access you can turn on and off the always on screen you've got tilt to wake screen that i am i've not got that on Oop, i've got that on actually tilt to wake screen that's fine as well auto launch media controls you've got accounts access watch battery storage watch app data usage so for example watch battery that shows what apps you've used what about how much battery between yesterday and in the last 15 hours or so watch storage and it's showing that I've got 4.42 gigabytes uh, available from a five gigabyte storage. So I've got Google Play services using up most of the storage at 116 megabytes, which isn't bad at all. And these are all the other apps I've got downloaded. Supporting two gigahertz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth version 5.0, the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra is running Wear OS by Google with Google Voice Assistant. As always, this OS is one of the best you can get on any good smartwatch and is super smooth and nippy in operation. What's the weather like tomorrow in London? Tomorrow in London, United Kingdom, it'll be mostly cloudy, with a high of 17 and a low of 11. See how instant that is, guys, and how quickly it changes the watch face. I love how fast and nippy this watch is. It's just really, really fast. Thanks to the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. Now, if we talk about power, we have the Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 4100 chipset plus Mobvoi's customized 4100 processor, which has a clock speed of up to 2.0 gigahertz. And guys, this powers the LCD screen and the backlight and the backlight can be accessed from the essential mode here and here you have a choice of colors personally i have not been using this feature as i haven't found it to be that useful but no doubt the colors do look rather cool 
The TicWatch 3 Pro Ultra comes with 1GB of RAM and 8GB storage. Although it seems plentiful for my needs, I personally was expecting more from this Ultra model. At least 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of storage just to bring it more in line with the latest flagship Samsung and Huawei smartwatches for example. Saying that the real time power and performance of this watch is highly impressive. It's smooth and nippy in operation and I've not experienced any lags, bugs or slowdown. The TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra supports Bluetooth calls and notifications which allows us to receive weather alerts and thankfully read and reply to messages including emails, social media, WhatsApp etc. And for those of you who are keen to know, yes this supports the standard emojis too. We have over 20 fitness modes, thousands of watch faces. We can also listen to music from Spotify and YouTube offline and guys the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra also supports NFC meaning we have access to contactless payments. Though this Beastie smartwatch is powerful, nippy and has a very impressive battery life it sure has its flaws and on that note ladies and gents let's move on to Leah's pros and niggles and hopefully this will help you make a more informed decision on whether or not this smartwatch is for you. So let's begin with the pros. No doubt this is the best tick watch to date. It has fantastic software and hardware. It's durable with military standard and has Gorilla Glass protection. We have Wear OS by Google which no doubt is the best OS you can currently get on smartwatches. We have NFC supported by Google Pay. We have access to over a thousand watch faces. We have upgraded health features. And guys, it offers reliable health and fitness tracking and reads. It's IP68 rated. We have a mega 577 milliamp battery, which lasts for a decent three to four days. And guys, it's priced at £289 here in the UK and around $299 in the US. So let's move on to the niggles. It does not support ECG, nor skin temperature detection. There's no blood pressure monitor. It only supports one gigabyte of RAM and eight GB ROM. It's not so attractive, it is bulky, and it has the same old boring design as the previous tick watches. And guys, there are better alternative and good looking and feature packed flagship options available. Now I know, although we don't have a stainless steel or titanium body or a sapphire glass and it's not the best looking smartwatch, nor is it as complete or feature packed as my favourite Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 or even the Classic for example, guys the incremental upgrades sure make it a better improved upgraded version of the already one of the top smartwatches, the Tick Watch 3 Pro and the addition of the heart rate and fatigue health features and the overall health and fitness tracking sensors and reads are highly accurate and reliable and it's not that bad after all. It sure does make it somewhere in my list of top 10 smartwatches of 2021. So what do you think guys? Do you agree with Leah's pros and niggles? Can you think of any other? Are you a Mobboy TicWatch fan? And is this one on your to buy list? Do share your thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to fire away any burning questions you may have. And once again guys, I sure ain't done yet with my current favourite piece of tech yet. Expect lots more smartwatches on the channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, a like, comment, share and subscribe would be highly appreciated. Do hit that bell icon too and follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram to be notified of my upcoming videos, giveaways etc. For now guys, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, take care, stay safe, bye.